Hey guys, what's happening? So, got a new uh, thing that came in here. It's a Nova Sun, one of those NV MPGs. It's uh, my CNC products come along. I know it's coming along, but getting the electronics sorted out. Right now, I'm currently running a uh, 25 pin parallel board. Not three Linux CNC. Workbench is a mess here. Print out some parts. So, I'll try to filter out the background noise if I can, but. This just came in from China. You can't get these on Amazon, so... Um, so I had to order this from uh, AliExpress directly. Um, I couldn't even find one on eBay, too, so... But it's actually made by Novasun. And I do actually have an EC500 coming in. I have, well, I have a 6-port... 6-port uh, uh, USB, I think it's called the NVC, I can't remember. It's the USB version of this thing here. Um, so this is a NVMe or NVMe or EM and this is the Ethernet version and I currently have been messing with Linux CNC the uh, you know Mach 3 and Linux CNC but uh, I wanted to try this thing out this uh, it's pretty cool it's like a color it's, it's a nice color screen but I'll get it fired up and I'll show you that came with the uh, DB15 connector to uh, uh, here so the, the the other board I'm getting, the other two, the uh, EC500, which is the newest version of this thing, it's more powerful. Uh, but I need actually six access. So I'm gonna have three of these Novasun cards. I'm gonna have the EC500, the six port USB version, and I also have this one here, which is, when I originally bought it on eBay, it was supposed to be six access, but it came as three access. So, um, so I had to kind of start from scratch again. I had to find another one. But even the EC500s are hard to get it. They're, you know, they're hard to find in China because I guess supply issues, I'm not sure. But my CNC machine over here is going to be five axis. I already have five stepper drivers in there. Uh, closed lip stepper drivers. So I'm going to get a like five axis trunnion for this thing. So, I know I get sidetracked pretty easily. Um, Alright, so the video is about this thing right here. Getting this thing to work with, uh, at least this version right now. Uh, the other version, the USB version on the EC500 actually has a DB15 connector that can connect right on the board, but this board I'm going to have to wire on the adapter. Well, surprising, I mean, even though there's all manual on the box, I mean, there's a really good manual line here. So, uh, even to connect with this device, so, like I said, the Air 2 device, they'll just plug right into the actual board without the uh, cables, but... Alright, so I'm going to get it wired up just like that and we'll see if this thing fire up and work. Alright, as usual, issues. Um, see how this cable, it has multiple, two browns, and uh, multiple, the, the color restarts again. So, and the DB15 is staggered where pin 8 is on the top, pin 15. So, um, yeah, I think it only uses pin 1 through 8 though on this thing. I'm looking at the manual, but... Yeah, this is, uh, I don't want to go, the main thing is the ground and the power. I don't want this thing to go poof. There's only one white, well, but there's two yellows, the one on the ground. But there's only one white, and a lot of these things aren't even used, so that's, uh, I don't know. Um, I think I'm going to take this connector apart and see how they line up and go off what I see in the connector here. You know, and then I'm gonna pin it out that way manually because this, this is this is you know way more pins than you need, and I don't know. So I want I want to see actually how many are come out the device. So now that I'm actually have this apart, I know that it's actually on the uh, this side of the. It's not using the full pin; they're not staggered out, so they would be on the uh, first side of this cable, at least one, one one half. So at least now I know what half to start on. So, if I would have hooked it up this way, you know, it would have been totally backwards and random. Yeah, I'm actually glad I looked at this because uh, I definitely would have fried this thing. Because the white coming out of it is supposed to be the 5 volt. And it's going to the red wire. So, not even... If it's would have hooked up based on their color code or that color code, then it would have uh, totally fried. So, the, 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 like, the purple out here or the violet doesn't come out as violet over here. It's a whole different pin. It's like brown. So, now I have to go pin map all these and figure out which one's what. And I might even take off the other ones off this cable. Um, you know, I'm, uh, I don't know, maybe pop it out and pull the wires I'm not using out of there. 
All right, guys. So my OCD nature can't. I can't do it. I can't do the uh, this random cable with the the, the color mix match. So um, I just went to the store. I'm actually really lucky. I have an electronics store called Marvac right on the street that actually has all these cool connectors, just random stuff. So I mean, not that I mean people companies would actually have stock of DB15. So um, I'm gonna just cut these off and solder them so they're exactly matched. So the color codes are matched. So, because in case this thing ever comes off, I don't have to worry about trying to figure out what the color codes off, or I can't figure out my my sheet, my uh, cheat sheet is. Uh, I'd rather just do it the right way now, and then not, not have to worry about it later. Because I'm gonna be doing a lot of experimentation with Linux CNC and other stuff, and you know, with different different controllers. So, um, yeah, I didn't want it to like you know jeopardize burning out this uh, MPG here. So I'm gonna solder these uh, connectors up, and I'll show you when I'm done. All right, so now we're talking. So one of the most important things about or in, in engineering is to remember your mistakes. Yeah, I just know this will cause me lots of headache in the future. That's why I better take care of it now. That way it's not uh, a nightmare later. It's funny if I actually have kept this for 10 years and uh, it was for a mega sport fuel injection project I was working on for the Bronco. But uh, yeah, 10 years later I finally use it. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, so my workbench is always a mess. Uh, make sure I got the power going here. Pull all these packs. This is my 24 volt feed. That's powered in. Alright, let's power this on. Cool. Didn't blow up, didn't burn up. Maybe walk needs to be fired up for this to move. Yeah, it came with no manual, so, uh, well, I, mean, I guess I had the online manual, but spindle on and off, access. Yeah, this is going to be a, well, it's actually eventually going to be a six-axis machine. It only shows three-axis. Um, let's see, fire Mach 3 here. Here is my mouse, sorry, I, guess I can see that here. All right, stop. We're in the Physics Anonymous screen set. It's awesome, you know? Actually, really gave new life to Mach 3. Um, but I'm actually still on the fence about keeping this or, or going with Linux CNC. I'm actually testing both to see which one I like better. Alright. Um, there is an option in the plugins. Let me look at that. Digital Dream. See NV, MVG, but. Alright, I, I gotta go to Mach and configure this real fast. At least figure it out. But we have power, that's a good sign. Oh, that changed though. I don't have a motor connected to it. I'm gonna hook up a stepper motor to it as well. Stepper driver. Before I even do that, I noticed that as soon as I went to Mach 3, I haven't even touched anything yet, that these are actually equal to what's up here on the screen. Like 41, 5. So it definitely was able to read, so now I gotta configure it in the ports and pins. Alright, so I just noticed in the manual that I might need a couple of DLL files, plugins. So, since it's something that came in the box, I'm going to have to Google search it. So, one is if you use a standard MPG, you use the NVM, NVEM F DLL and NVMPG. Uh, having this big screen definitely helps. Alright, so here, hopefully I have everything in the frame here. Alright, so today's a new day. Um, so, I got everything working. But I had to switch to my old screen set to get it going. But let me show you now that I have the thing on the tripod. It might be easier to see. So I basically have my Novasun NVEM here. Uh, you know, then I have a, like a NEMA 17, a little cheapo stepper driver. You know, obviously non encoder, non, non closed loop. So it's connected to like one of my old NEMA 17 motors. Got it to work. So let me show you the functionality of this thing. Well, obviously, you can, you can change the axis. Um, Control the speed, 10, and it'll actually show you what you're at. Like 1, 10, and also observe my uh, power supply here. Um, you'll notice that when I turn this thing, you'll see like me, it's drawing more current as I go. So that, we can see that in the picture. The Neva 17 spinning. I guess I could put a piece of tape on there. But yeah, pretty basic. Uh, this is emergency stop right here. Um, you can see it says reset. I can go back into it. 
So if you're having a problem, you can just quickly hit your e-stop. I wish it would be labeled that would say e-stop. And this one is actually play, so I don't know if you'd want to start your program from here. Um, a cycle start right there. But, um, yeah, I guess you could. I mean, once you get everything zeroed, then you could do your home button. You can go to Z, uh, zero the access if I wanted to zero X. And this is all matched up with Mach 3, which is cool. Uh, one of the issues with this thing, it doesn't have a... I don't know what these were for. This originally was for some kind of magnetic base or something. But it's not magnetic. So um, I'm going to design a mount for this thing, like a cradle. I can pop into it, and I'll upload it to my Thingiverse page. But, uh, yeah, once I get to that point, I'm just going to... It's going to be pretty easy. I'm just going to create like a shell. That will pop in and hold it and store it. But... Um, yeah, I just like how it's nice in color. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously I don't have my spindle connected to this. This is just a mock-up. You can turn your spindle on and off. Um, so home, zero. I don't know what this is yet, though. Half? Half? I mean, it should... I'm trying to figure out why would you want to do half? You guys can explain to me in the comments why you'd want to do half. Um, well, I'm still kind of learning CNC. So, all right, so this is what it looks like. You saw this on uh, AliExpress, or I haven't seen one on Amazon yet, but eBay. But uh, this actually should probably work with a lot of different boards, not just uh, NovaSun. But yeah, it looks pretty good. I think it was like 68 bucks. I don't know, 58 I can't remember. It, was, it wasn't really expensive. It was less than 100 bucks. But I mean, the other ones I saw on Amazon were like over $100, and they had like no, no color touchscreen. It's not a touchscreen, but no color screen. And just didn't look nearly as nice as this. And this actually feels good. So one of the reasons why I got this MPG is that I wanted to, when I'm dialing my um, my uh, access, you know, to uh, make sure they're correct, you know, check for backlash, I wanted to be able to click one click per for a 01 millimeter. I wanted to be able to do that and really dialed in. So I could look at it and see, you know, look at my dial indicator, but I could see right in front of it. I wouldn't have to turn around and look at my you know, look behind me at my screen. Alright, pretty cool. Awesome. Alright, there it is. Take a look. Alright, so, design that Fusion 360. Just pops out in case I need to make adjustments. Or I can actually just run it right from the cradle because I'm so close to it. Right there. I had to make it loose so it didn't actually hit the, the buttons on the side. Like that. And then it goes around to my little DB15 connector. Right here. So all this stuff will be my Thingiverse page. And that feeds up here. I'm actually going to wrap these in the wires here like that. I'm going to wrap it. And feeds down my tube here. And then goes to a shielded DB15. So, yeah, cool. It's a keeper. So, uh, yeah, it's cool color display. Um, you know, I, I don't really like the, the wireless ones have, I, from what I've read, have issues. So I wanted something that definitely had direct wire, but I wanted something a little bit nicer looking. Um, plus, uh, I have a right now. I have uh, <coughs> three different Nova Sun products. I have uh, the USB version, what's it called, the NVCM. Then I have the NVEM, the Ethernet version of it. And then I have an EC300 coming. Um, but I was trying to get an EC500, but uh, they're everybody's out of stock from like AliExpress and stuff. So, I talked to the the guy selling. He said they're manufacturing you know, manufacturing in China right now. So. All right, cool. So if you want any of this stuff, it's on my Thingiverse page down below. Um, all right, cool. Pretty cool product.